Welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Thursday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope that you're having a great day today, that you all have had a great week thus far, and that you all are well. Um, we're going to get started with prayer time. If this is your first time or you're new to my channel, you can always leave. If you have a prayer request, please don't hesitate to leave it on the board and we will pray over it. Um, so let's go to prayer time. Let's go to prayer. Um, we have no new prayer requests to add. So and I have no updates on any prayer requests either. So um, let's go to the Lord in prayer, shall we? Let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we just praise you and we just thank you for who you are. We thank you, Father, that your mercies and your compassion are new every day and that you love us so much. Lord, I just pray that you will just be with everyone, Father, who is having, who is just having issues with physical needs. Lord, we think, first of all, of those with cancer. Father, I think first of Michael, Tanya's husband. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will just reach down, that you will touch and heal him, that you will take that cancer out of his body, that as he has stage four melanoma in his brain, and as he has tumors under his arm and tumors on his back, that Lord, that you will take care of it all in Jesus' name, and that, Father, we just pray that you will just touch and heal Michael from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, that when he goes back to the doctors, for there is nothing impossible with you, so when he goes back to the doctors, we are just praying in the name of Jesus that they will find no more cancer in Jesus name, that it will be gone because it will be gone because you have healed him in Jesus name. And Lord, we are praying for Carrie now as she has had cancer, as she has had the cancer taken out of her body. I pray, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, that you will be with her, that you will just give Carrie a really quick and speedy recovery and that you will bless Carrie today and her family that you will just give them your peace your peace that path is all understanding as they're going through this for Michael and Tanya's family as well do the same thing give them your peace your peace that path is all understanding and father God we are just praying now for Lori as she has had her cancer removed I just pray that the cancer will stay gone that the hormones will do the job that it's supposed to do without giving her any side effects that she will have no side effects from the hormones in Jesus name we are asking that. And Lord, for her daughter-in-law's mother, Susan, as she does have cancer and as the cancer is spreading, I just pray, Lord, even when, Father, even when that cancer starts spreading, nothing is impossible for you. You can stop it in Jesus' name. I pray that you will touch and heal Susan from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. When the doctors go looking for that cancer, they will not find it because it is not there because you have healed her, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. And we pray, Father God, for her family, that you will give them your peace, your peace that path is all understanding at this time in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray that you will be with anyone else that has cancer, that is praying this prayer with me, that is asking you to touch and heal them. Lord, I am agreeing with in prayer with them that you will just touch and heal them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet in Jesus' name. And Father God, we are also praying for anyone who has fibromyalgia and arthritis. Lord, I pray for Becca. I pray for... Selena, I pray for anyone who has fibromyalgia, Lord, that has not spoken it, but is asking you to touch and heal them. I pray for them as well, that you will touch and heal from them, them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet in Jesus name. And Lord, we are just asking you, we are just asking father in the name of Jesus that you will just touch and heal them. Give them no pain, no soreness, no stiffness, nothing because you have healed them completely. And we are praying for our sweet sister, Dietra, for her lupus. I pray, Father God, that as she is in her treatment today, as hoping she's in her treatment, hoping this prayer finds her in her treatment for her lupus, Lord, and not having COVID, we just pray that if she still has any effects from COVID, that you will take them away, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we are asking you right now to be with Dietra in her lupus treatments, that he will just touch and heal her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Any stiffness, any soreness, any pain, anything, Lord, that you will take that away. And as she is on these new treatments, that these treatments will be exactly what she needs to work. But Father, you can do this without even the treatments. So we are praying that you will touch and heal her in the name of Jesus. And we are asking, Father God, that you will be with her doctors and give them the wisdom that they need to know how to treat her so that she will have no more problems with her lupus. In Jesus' name and for Anne-Marie, I pray for our sweet Anne-Marie as she does have chronic fatigue and muscle pain. 
give her strength give her energy today bless her today i pray may she get much done and for noah we are asking father god for noah that in the name of jesus that you will touch and heal his his pinched nerve is in his neck, that you will take it away, that any pain that he may have, that you will continue to take that away, that any any shoulder pain, any being able to use his arms, Lord, that you will just touch and heal him, and that in the name of Jesus, that all will be well. And as he is going to this neurologist, I pray that when he goes to the neurologist, he will have a good report, a very good report in Jesus' name. And we are praying now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will be with AD as she continues to work on trying to get her internship. I pray, Father God, that she will get her internship approved by the school and that she will it will lead to a permanent job for her, even if it's not at the church, but that somebody will take notice of her and it will lead to a permanent job for her in Jesus' name. And I do pray that you will just be with that you will just be with sweet Kira today. Father, I pray that you will touch and heal her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. That as she is looking at you to build her faith, even today as she is chair bound and bed bound, that you will build that faith. That when others look at her, they will see you and only you. And that she will be able to be a blessing to those people. And that you will show them that there is purpose in this. And that you will give Kara her purpose in jesus name and for laura's family member i pray for laura's family member that you will touch and heal that family member lord that you will touch and heal that family member so that they may be able to go on to the mission field lord open up that right door to the mission field make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way that they will be able to go and may they be a blessing to others as a result of their obedience and their faithfulness and willingness to serve you and we just thank you for them for that willingness and for their obedience in jesus name and Father, we are also praying now for Patricia. I pray, Father God, that you will touch our sweet Patricia, that you will heal her of her pain. And Father, I do pray for Patricia's unspoken need. Lord, we don't know the need, but you do. And you are working and we know you are. But Lord, I just pray that you will continue to work, that you will continue to break down the walls, break down the barriers. And Father God, we just pray now in Jesus' name that you Oh God, you will, will take care of it in Jesus name and that you will give her the victory. And for Dorothy's daughter, Father, we pray for Dorothy's daughter as she is going through so much. I just pray, Father God, that you will be with her in the name of Jesus, that you will walk her through this, that you will give Dorothy and her husband the wisdom and discernment to know exactly what to do for their daughter in Jesus name. And Lord, I do pray now that you will just be with Donnie in rehab i pray that you will just continue to help him that father as today his blood pressure is running low he is having blood pressure issues i pray father god that you'll bring his blood pressure up to a safe blood pressure in jesus name that father god that he may be able to go on with his his therapy activities tomorrow in jesus name and lord i do pray that the doctor and then the doctors will will be more upfront with karen as they need to be reporting to her what is going on in Jesus name and Lord I do pray now that you will just be with that you will just be with um, Colleen as father God as they are looking at possibly being homeless Colleen her mother Dave and Lauren I just pray in Jesus name father that you know they have a desire to stay exactly where they are so I pray that you will make a way where there seems to be no way as only you can do father and supply father you say in your word that you will supply for all of our needs according to your riches and glory so i pray that you will supply for their needs and that they will be able to stay exactly where they are and for colleen's quit smoking lord all this stress is not good for colleen and her trying to quit smoking so lord i just pray father god now that you will take that desire away that you will give her more of a desire for you and for the things of you in jesus name and she will not want a cigarette but that she will only desire you and lord i do pray for lauren's that that lauren's doctor will get back to her colleen in a timely manner in a quick timely manner so she will be have a quick and timely appointment with that doctor as she needs to see that doctor immediately in Jesus name and Lord I do pray for Lauren as she is in a new school I pray father God that you will be with her that you will bless her that you will give her some great new friends that will be lifelong friends for her in Jesus name and father God I do pray that that you will just make her successful academically 
in this school and that she will enjoy what she has. She will enjoy the rest of the school year and have much success in Jesus name. And Father, we are also praying now for all of us that have diabetes. I pray, Father God, for all of us that have diabetes issues. I pray for Jeff right now as Father, as he is waiting for a decision from his insurance company, as the insurance company keeps rejecting him being put back on his right insulin. Father, you make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way for him to be put back on that insulin in Jesus name and touch and heal him of his pain and just be with him today. And Father, we pray for Jim, for Colleen, for Sonia, for Penny, for Keith, for me. We pray for all of us who have diabetes and anyone who is praying this prayer with me, asking you to help them with their diabetes. We just pray now in Jesus' mighty name that you will also do it for them, that you will bring our blood sugars down to safe, normal levels. That, Father God, that we will not have lows, we will not have highs, but we will be completely normal. That one, that you will free us from our diabetes, free us from having to be on medications. Just, Father God, nothing is impossible with you. And you can heal anything. So we just pray that you will touch and heal our diabetes today in Jesus name. And Lord, we do pray now for my sweet sister and best friend, Susie, that you will be with her today, that you will touch and heal her knees, her hip and her back, that you will just take all the pain away, touch and heal her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, we pray in Jesus name. And Lord, I do pray for Shauna. Lord, as Shauna has had endometriosis removed from her body, I just pray, Father God, first of all, that there will be no bleeding, no pain, and that most importantly, that the endometriosis will not grow back. In Jesus' name, we are asking you, Father, to keep the endometriosis out of Shauna's body. And Lord, I am praying for that situation with Megan. I am praying that you will just heal those relationships in Jesus' name. Just heal it. Take that rebellious spirit out of Megan in Jesus' name and just be with her today. Just protect her today, we pray in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do pray now that you will just be with Tammy, my love, that you will touch and heal her eyes, that you will give her clear vision as she, <clears throat> as she looks forward to getting, or not looking forward to getting her eye shots again. I just pray, Father God, that you will be with her, that, she, that you will go before her, that there will be no side effects, no burning from the eye drops, that everything will go smoothly, that, that, and that she will walk out of that office with clearer vision than she walked in, in Jesus' name. And Father God, I am also praying for all of us that have mental health issues. Father, I am praying against DID. I am praying against depression, PTSD, schizophrenia, bipolar, anything that I have missed, Lord, that somebody is praying for, anxiety, worry, fear, anything, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray against it. Father, you want us to have victory. We are standing on your word today, your word of victory over everything that is attacking our minds. We just pray that you will give us your peace, your peace, the path of soul understanding. Deliver us. I pray, even if I don't mention these people's names, Lord, I just pray for each and every person that's praying this prayer with me and uh, asking for you to deliver them, asking for you to help them with a mental health issue, that you will do so in Jesus' name. I am agreeing with them in prayer. Lord, the names I am mentioning, Anne, Anne-Marie, Mandy, Susie, Jessica, Becca, uh, for Colleen, for Lauren, for David, for Travis, for Stephanie, for, for, for anyone else that I have not mentioned, Lord, that it wants to be included in this prayer. I am agreeing with them in prayer right now for your help with mental health issues in Jesus name. And Lord, I do pray now that you will just be with Jessica today as well, that you will touch and heal Jessica, that you will just touch and heal her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet in Jesus name. Be with our sweet Jessica today, we pray in Jesus name. And Lord, we are also praying now that you will just be with each and every one of us today, that you will be, that you will be with us, that you will help us and just bless us today, we pray in Jesus mighty and holy name. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, here it goes. You can see I don't have the board behind me. Um, and it's, there's a reason why I wanted to have, as you can see by the title. So this is a fair warning. Okay. I am going to show you what Noah's wearing. He's wearing something for dress up Thursday. I'm going to do that quick, but then I'm going to feed him while I'm feeding him. I want to have a, a chat, a 
mental health chat. I haven't had one of them in a very long time. Um, this is because, and I'll explain why, I want to share with you what's been going on. Not, not in depth, but some of the things my therapist and I talked about last night, I just want to share with you. Um, because we were, we, I asked him if it was okay if I shared this and he said, go ahead. Um, I know I haven't had a DID discussion in a long time. Um, this does have a lot to do with my DID, what we're going to discuss. Um, let me first show you Noah. He is dressed for, as you can see by the title, the first thing that's there is, well, that'll be behind it, is Dress Up Thursday hosted by Stephanie and Jackie over in Lympho Reborns 2011. I have him dressed in something green today. So let's see Noah in green, shall we? And then I am going to feed Mr. Noah while we have a discussion. As you can see, Noah's in a green corduroy romper, green corduroy jumper type thing. I have white underneath it because I don't have anything else to go underneath this. But it is a very, very, very warm day here. So I really don't want <clears throat> too many layers on him. He'll get too hot. So I don't want him to get too hot. So we are going to do a little discussion. Now I have not had a DID discussion in forever. And there's a reason why, and I'm going to talk to my therapist about possibly talking to you about it um, and sharing it. But I want to share this with you because I really think that this could help all of us. This is a discussion that could help everybody out there today. Um, okay, here it goes. I... talked to my therapist before I did this discussion. Um, I have been feeling there's a situation going on that makes me feel like I am that little girl stuck in the corner now. Um, stuck in the corner, scared of my abusers. And I know I haven't had a DID discussion in a long time, but being stuck in that corner makes me weaker. And I don't want to be weak. The devil keeps talking to me about my past, wanting to define my future. He thinks that my past should define my future, and it shouldn't. Um, I uh, This came about, guys, when my sister-in-law, one of my sister-in-laws, one of my sister-in-laws, um, she... She had Facebooked me through Messenger and we were talk we were we have been talking on Facebook and and so she knows what's going on. And through Messenger, she messaged me something on Monday, which okay, God had said that I would get my answer, the answer I needed through my phone. And we feel like that was my answer. Um, because she was talking about being a scared little girl in a corner. And I've been a scared little girl in a corner lately. I've been that little girl scared again, going off to the corner, afraid of what's going to happen, letting my past define me. I have been letting my past define me. And I have been letting the devil speak really horrible things to me. And tell me that I can't do something. Um, one day I'll explain what it is. But that, you know, I, I, I've had him telling me that you can't do this. That, you know, that, you know, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And it just isn't true. And... I'm going to share some things from the Bible now. I'm going to put Noah down, I think, guys. I'm just going to put him down on the bed quick. And then, because I want to share some things. And I can't do it holding him. 
So I'm going to put him down there. Okay, guys. Here it goes. My therapist and I were talking last night, yesterday, and I kind of explained to him that I feel like that scared little girl in the corner and that I'm being told that I can't do it, that I'm not strong enough to handle it, anything. I'm going to take a deep breath because I can come out of that corner and not let my past define who I am. I am not letting my past define my future. I am not letting my past define my future. My therapist said to go to scriptures to keep to keep verses. So I'm going to start making up verse cards. And I'll, I, will, <clears throat> I will make up some more verse cards and share them with you. Um, I think I'm going to start journaling this as well. Um, just to tell you guys, I'm going to start journaling this as well. Um, this is going to be one of the things I'm going to journal. But Jeremiah 29, 11, you all know that this is my life verse. And it has to be my life verse. I, I now know why it's my life verse. Okay, because I cannot let what happened to me as a child define who I am now and define who I'm going to be in the future. Define my past. I can't let my past define my present and my future. I can't do that. I cannot allow my past to define my future. And that is what Satan wants me to do. He wants me to, uh, to allow lies to enter into my brain that just are not true. So I decided. I told my therapist last night. I said I'm coming out fighting. I cannot be that little girl in the corner anymore. I can't be afraid anymore. I have to stand up. For me. I am not coming and attacking I'm not going to, the only one that I'm really coming after is the devil. I am, okay, Satan, get thee behind me in the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me. I am stomping him with my, you know, there is a verse. I actually have a verse in here. Let me see if I can find it. Where he says about stomping on Satan. That he will do that for you. You see, if we trust in the Lord, he will stomp on Satan for us. You know, he can do that. And this is actually, you see, if I stay in that corner, here it is. Romans 16, 20. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Romans 16, 20. You see, I've been getting these lies given to me. I've been allowing Satan to lie to me recently. I am not the scared little girl in the corner today. I am not letting my past define my future. The stronger I am, Okay, I'm going to explain this to you. The stronger I am, the stronger I become, the more that my altars retreat. They have no, they don't come out. They don't have to because I'm strong. So, just a little DID discussion in there because my channel is about my DID as well. And I have not had a mental health discussion like this in a while, guys. I really haven't. So, and that's why I put Noah down. I was going to feed Noah while I did this, but I can't do this and feed him at the same time. So, you saw Noah. You saw me feed him for a little while. So, anyway. Jeremiah 29, 11. What does it say? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a inspected 
end or to give you a hope and a future. There you go, guys. A hope and a future. What does that mean? That means that I'm not that scared little girl. I don't have to live in a corner. That I don't have to live listening to lies. And that's exactly what I've been doing. I just want to share this with you guys because, you know, I've been in a corner lately with something. And I've been listening to a lot of lies. I've been allowing certain people to push me around. I'm coming out. I am not coming out attacking anybody except for the devil. I am taking a stand because even my sister-in-law said that she took a stand against the devil. She took a stand against Satan himself for the lies that he's putting in our heads. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you'll get in your head that and it will define you. You will let it define you. We cannot, I cannot allow my past to define my present or my future. And I'm not going to do it. So, I am going to start getting scriptures together. Putting scripture in here. Because even my therapist said, here's how we're going to combat this. I'm going to keep a whole bunch of scripture with me. Maybe even put it on my phone. Get an app of scriptures on my phone. And um, I'm going to keep strong here. I've got to come out fighting. I can, I've got to come out, you know, I've let the devil keep me down long enough. And so I'm coming out fighting. I'm coming out letting the devil know you have no place in my future. That what happened to me as a child is not going to define me. Because I'm not going to let it. And I'm going to keep scripture handy. My scripture cards. I'm going to journal and share that with you. I had said I wanted to share more journaling. I wanted to start journaling and share it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my journaling with you. Um, this is going to become a true blog session. A true mental health session. Um, this channel was started to glorify God and to for mental health for my babies of course for my babies because I am a nursery but anyway this is just one now I do have it's just one verse I have in there this is the other passage I have Psalm 121 the whole passage I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thee thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and ever forever even forever more i've got to go potty okay mom hold on for just a second guys okay anyway guys um one of the things that i need to do is i need to get stronger and um one way i'm going to do that <clears throat> is by keeping scripture handy and by helping me do it um i forgot where i left off sorry but anyway, I will give you guys updates on how I'm doing and let you guys know. You know, the one thing, the one thing is, is that 
you know, they talk about integration and they can't integrate my alters until <clears throat> I'm strong enough. Well, then once I get strong enough, I won't need to go through the integration process because they will already be there. I won't need them anymore. And one way I'm going to do it is to stand up against the devil and to tell the devil I am not going to let my past define who I am today or in the future. So hold on for a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, but just to, just to, you know, just to have a little discussion. I just wanted to have a little in the arc chat about not letting your past define your future. And that's exactly what I'm going to start doing. I'm not going to let my past define my future, but that means that you have to take a stand against the devil. You cannot allow the devil to have control of your mind, which is exactly what happens when I, I'm that little girl in that corner. When I was that little girl in that corner, I was allowing the devil. Hi mom. Oh. I was allowing the devil to control my mind and I, I'm not going to do it anymore. Thank I just God, thought, hallelujah, and I amen. just thought you do it to God the Father. Yes, Mom. And come back to me, and I will go to the church, and they will be there to help you. Okay, Mom. There you go. You got it from my mom, too, guys. Um, but anyway, I just feel like I needed to share that with you, and I know it was like a very poignant discussion and very, you know, but... It's because I am very passionate about today? doing this at this point. Um, I love you. I am very passionate about my mental health at this point. I'm very passionate about mental health. And that's one of the things that Noah's Ark Nursery is, is we are a mental health support channel. And I just had to be very passionate about it, I guess. I get very passionate when I talk about my mental health, my DID. Um, but I also get very passionate when I talk about the word. And this is what my assignment is for therapy. Just thought I'd tell you. Here's what my assignment is. Every time Satan starts attacking my mind and telling me, you can't do this. Telling me that I'm still that little girl that was abused. That I'm still that little girl that was being beaten down by her abusers. I'm going to have scripture to go back to. I'm going to memorize. And I might even memorize some and like tell you guys. And, you know, double check my work, of course. But um, double check my memory. But, you know, just because that'll help strengthen me. Um, so... It's a very poignant discussion about what I've been going through a little bit. And, um, you know, just the fact that my sister-in-law, sometimes help comes from the most unexpected places, guys. And for me, it was through my sister-in-law who basically told me she wasn't going to let her past define her future. And she just felt like she said, I just felt like I had to say that to you. That was the Holy Spirit, guys. <clears throat> because... I mean, she has known some of what I've been going through, but I haven't expressed how I actually feel and to her, but she could tell. The one thing about her is she can tell. And um, so I'm just, I'm hoping that you all will stand with me, that you all will do this with me, um, that you will not let your past define your future and that you know that through the word of God, we can stand. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. And they're all for hope and a future. Plans that are not to destroy you, but for your own good. Plans that are good hey. blessings to prosper you. Hi, um, hold on for a second. I'm going to go get something quick. That's what he okay, says. I'm just going to show you this plaque that I keep by the bed. It's because his plans. That's pretty. This does not have Who to. Made this it? is why our past doesn't have to define us. Here it, is. Here it goes, guys. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Right there, guys. There it is. That is why I had to have this discussion. I know my video is running a little bit longer than it normally does. Well, okay. My video is wrong long anyway. Let's just admit that. But anyway, I just thought that I would just share a little bit about some things. And, Look at him. you know, we're going to get back to some more mental health discussions um, as a result Stop of all it. this. We're going to get back to some more DID discussions. Um, Stop. I got to say, my ultras have been really good. Which yeah, means that it. with them being really good, I've been stronger. Look that at I've that I'm maintaining being strong. The minute I get weak, where is his the minute I forget about this? The minute that's when I get weak, <coughs> and that's not good. Yeah. What is wrong with so you? Jeremiah's going to bark now? Okay, guys, since. It's going crazy now here. Um, that is my discussion today. Thank you for listening to me. And put in the comments anything. Um, just put in the comments how you're feeling. Um, and if you have any scripture suggestions for me, would you please put it in, in the comments? Um, anything suggestions? Um, that would be great. But, you know, know that I'm going to be sharing things. Um about my journey with this at this point. Um, so, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ARC and listening to this just very passionate and poignant discussion. And I hope that you have a blessed and wonderful day. And we will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Bye, guys.